So we're talking survival kits today. And I have the best one on the market right now in my opinion. And that is the Stay Spiky Survival Kit by Wild Hedgehog Tactical. Now, listen, stop before you change the channel. Because you're probably thinking the same thing I used to think. Oh my god, it's a pre-made survival kit. It's got to be a piece of crap. Well, I got news for you. It's not. And why is that? Because the guys at Wild Hedgehog Tactical actually care about survival and building a survival kit with quality components. Now, I know that's a shocking concept in a world of garbage survival kits, but they've actually done that, and um, I'm pretty damn impressed, to be quite honest with you. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up, and I'm going to show you all the awesome stuff that we got inside here. You know, I got a water filter in here. I got, um, you know, a mag bar, a compass, and they're all quality pieces of gear. So let's get down to it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the pouch. Now, it's made by Maxpedition, and if you're familiar with that company, you know they make some extremely rugged, durable products, and this pouch is no exception to that. It's constructed of 1000D Cordura nylon and treated with a sealant that pretty much keeps anything out of the pouch. Now, on the front here, you see we got this nice mesh pocket with Velcro closure on it, and then there's a patch panel where you can, um, you know, throw any sort of patch of your choice on there. Right here, the actual closure is YKK zippers all around with these paracord poles on it, which makes it very easy to use if you have a pair of gloves on or your dexterity is a little limited. Now, on the back here, you got a heavy duty grab handle with some extra double stitching in there, so this thing's not going to tear off anytime soon. And then we have three rows of webbing on here. You can use this to attach to any PALS, MOLLE compatible piece of equipment, such as a pack, a larger pouch what have you. So that's the pouch all the way around, but now let's go ahead and open it up and we'll see what's inside. Okay, so first up let's go ahead and look at their water filtration choices. We got the Sawyer Mini. Now if you're not familiar with Sawyer, I highly suggest you get familiar with them because they are the best priced, most compact water filter on the market to date and it's been that way for more than a few years. The filter itself can handle up to 100,000 gallons of filtration. Now, from a filter of this size, that's just crazy, but it works. Now, you can use the squeeze system that they have here in conjunction with the filter. It just basically just screws on there and you're able to drink directly out of the bag or you can pair the filter with the straw just for a quick drink from your water source or if you don't want to use either one of those items, you can simply take the filter and you see those threads right there? You can thread them on any sort of uh, typical size water bottle mouth and drink directly out of that water bottle. So lots of great options for water filtration and an excellent choice to put in a kit of this size. Up next we got this six inch chem light which is a great addition to this kit. Obviously you can see it's a perfect fit in there and you know what I like to do with these is um, it's a great backup for your primary lighting source you know whether that be a flashlight or a headlamp and you know I'll take these and I'll hang these, these inside my shelter or hang them outside on a tree just so I can kind of see my way around. So this is a great addition to this and um, up next we got some paracord because no survival kit would be complete without some paracord obviously and then I thought this was a really cool addition. This is a neck knife made by Mtech USA. Now I would never heard of this company before but once I looked them up I saw that company gets great reviews and the knife itself is actually a quality little blade. Um, it's got a razor sharp edge, it came that way. It's got G10 scales on it and uh, it's just a nice little fit in your hand and um, you know it can definitely come in handy and what's nice about it is it is a neck knife so I can take this out of my pouch and hang it around my neck and make room for other things I might want to put in here. So anyways, that's everything we had in this side. Now let's go ahead and open up this zipper compartment and see what's hidden underneath. Okay, let's see what the first thing is I pull out here. All right, we got a Ready Man survival card. Now, I have not used one of these yet. If you guys have, let me know how well they work because from first glance, it looks really useful. I mean, check that out. We got a, um arrowhead there, some fish hooks, um, looks like maybe some lock picking tools there, a little hacksaw there probably, and a lot of other goodies. So um, this is a great addition to the kit, if only because of all the tools and then, of course, that slim profile there. So the Ready Man survival card, got that. Then over here, we got a Ziploc bag with tin foil, and let's see what we got in here. We got fishing line, snare wire, and then right here at the bottom, you see those two sinkers right there? So you combine that with a nice straight piece of wood and the fish hooks on the Ready Man survival card, and you got yourself a little fishing operation that you can take out and um, get yourself some food. 
So those are two items that are in there. Let's see what else we got in here. I know there's one other thing. Ah, right. So we got a signal mirror here. Common sense addition to a survival kit. So those are three items in that zipper pouch. Let's go ahead and look at what we got on the other side. So on this side of the pouch, first off, I just want to show you guys more of the organizational capability we got going on here. We got three loops, and then on, on top of each loop, there's two small, smaller loops. So you got a lot of different options, and that's probably another reason why they chose this pouch, just because it's so easy to organize lots of small little pieces and parts into a cohesive set of stuff you can easily say, okay, I need this, I need that, without having to dig through a whole bunch of crap to get to what you need. So anyways, we got a uh, emergency whistle here. And this bad boy, if I recall correctly, puts out 100 decibels and also has some cordage to hang this around your neck if you needed. Let's see, uh, let's see how loud this is. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty loud. And obviously, common sense addition to a survival kit, right? And then over here, continuing the, uh, the fire starting options, got this fire starter by Friendly Swede. Now this company, it makes some really quality stuff. I have some of their Paracord products and uh, was very impressed with them. Now this is obviously a magnesium bar with a ferro rod embedded in it and with a nice heavy duty striker here that doubles as a can opener and you see there's some uh, measuring options here and um, man this thing um, this thing puts out sparks like nobody's business so it's a great addition you combine that with the uh, you know matches you got a couple, couple different options for making fire so I thought that was a quality addition to the kit now let's go ahead and uh, have a look and see what we got inside this pocket right here which is a bunch of medical stuff so the medical component of this kit is going to cover your basic medical emergencies in the field you know stuff like cuts lacerations minor puncture wounds stuff like that things that are not going to require some sort of extensive medical skill set to actually um, take care of so first up we got two four by four cover sponges Great addition, obviously um, related to taking care of bleeding, right? Then we got two large bandages right there. Then right here we got some stero strips. Now I've used these stero strips before and they really work out well. So I thought it was pretty cool when I found these in the kit. And then this big old chunk of 4x5 by 4.1 yards of compressed gauze made by North American Rescue. So, you know, once you break this open and uh, use it, you're going to have a lot of compressed gauze to work with. So just be aware of that. Then over here in the Ziploc bag, we got another little set of uh, odds and ends here. I'm gonna dump this open, get everything out. Uh, first up, got this little tampon, obviously um, related to controlling bleeding, right? Because as we all know, tampons are designed to be absorbent, very absorbent. So nice little addition in there. Then we got some prep pads. Then uh, we got some, let's see, what is this? Uh, cold medication. Then some aspirin. Then two extra strength Tylenol. And then, let's see what else we got here. We got some uh, generic Neosporin. And then finally, we got two, or sorry, four large bandages right here. So that pretty much cov covers it for the medical kit. Like I said, it's not some sort of huge medical kit that's gonna require a lot of experience for a person to use, but it will take care of uh, basic injuries that you would get out there in the field doing various things, you know, like, uh, you know, using a, you know, a knife or a handsaw or uh, making a fire and things of that nature. All right, guys, so you've seen it. That's a Stay Spiky Survival Kit by Wild Hedgehog Tactical. You can check them out online at wildhedgehogtactical.com or also at the same spot on Facebook. And, uh, you know, to be honest with you, What's great about this pouch and what I really like about it is the fact that it's so portable. You know, I have three or four different packs that I use on a regular basis, you know. So I, instead of outfitting each single pack with a dedicated survival kit like what I got here, I can just easily do what I did today. Grab my pack, toss it in there, go off and do my thing. Next time I go out for a training exercise and I use a different pack, I pull this out of that pack, throw it in, throw it in the one I'm going to use, and I'm good to go. And, uh, you know, hell, now that I think about it, I could probably just go ahead and take this and toss this in my vehicle that I drive on a daily basis. And I already have a survival kit in there ready to go. So that's what I like about this. It's uh, adaptable and portable. And probably for the future, I got a new pack coming in the mail that's going to be my everyday carry pack. And probably what I'll do with that is um, I'll probably open this up 
take out all the pieces and parts and then split them up between the mesh park uh, the mesh pockets inside the pack you know so for example inside the Blackhawk diversion I have you know multiple mesh pockets on inside the main compartment so I can put um, you know let's say the water filtration stuff inside one pocket I can use uh, the other pocket for the medical uh, another pocket for the fire stuff and then once this pouch is all emptied out then I can go ahead and repurpose it you know maybe I use it for a um, dedicated tool pouch uh, maybe I use it for a large-scale medical solution, you know, adding in maybe a cat tourniquet, uh, some quick claw, and some other major, um, you know, medical trauma-related items. Um, you know, hell, you could probably go ahead and expand this and put in uh, a, a lot of different uh, options for water filtration in addition to the Sawyer Mini. So um, either way you slice it, you got a lot of different uh, ways to use this, which is what I like. I'm not limited to one type of use. So go check them out, Wild Hedgehog Tactical. Tell them the survival outpost sent you, and it appears that I am completely out of water. So um, that being said, it's getting about, I don't know, it's probably about 88, almost 90 degrees out here, and uh, I need some more water. So um, I'm going to hit the road, head back home. Until next time, you guys know the drill. Get out there and train, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.